Today we have a chat on advanced design for large monopiles together with two experts. Uh, one is Dr. Jan Dürkop, Chief Consultant of Rambel. Welcome. And Severin Spill, Research Associate of Fraunhofer Ives, working at the Test Center for Superstructures at Hannover. Yeah, my first question is, uh, what are the main topics of uh, the project Tannen that you are doing together, Fraunhofer and Rambel? I think the overall aim of this project is to reduce the cost for energy. Um, and one key to that is to yeah, improve design methods. Um, the current design methods that are yeah, best practice in offshore wind, uh, they are all originate from standards um, that were developed for the oil and gas industry. And the oil and gas industry is somewhat different to offshore wind. Um, we have um, a totally different safety level and the structures look totally different. We have for offshore wind much larger um, pile diameters longer piles, stiffer piles, and so we think that the design approaches need to be adjusted to these conditions. So the two focus areas of the Tandem project um, are related to this um, different sizing effects. The first focus area is on the hydrodynamic modeling. We um, do a lot of CFD computations in order to more accurately and precisely um, model the wave loading on the structures to cover the refraction effects, for example. And the second focus area is on geotechnics, um, where we uh, think that the, the large scale of the pile has an influence on the design methods. Um, and so we want to, to improve the design approaches here to cover the um, large um, diameter effect and also to um, cover other installation methods than pile driving. So we also include um, a study on vibro different piles in this project. And uh, Mr. Spill, how is the structure of the project tandem? Well, as Jan just said, we have two main columns in the tandem project. One is the hydrodynamic part, where my colleagues from Bremerhaven and Oldenburg together with Rambo work on. And the second one is the geotechnic part, where Rambo and us work together on the influence of diameter effects and installation methods. This part is split into four phases. The first one is the reference pile phase. Here the 8 meter diameter XL monopile for 7.5 megawatt wind turbine was designed. Based on this result, in the second step, we developed large scale tests, which consist of the number of six piles. Three of them were tested last year until the end of December. Here the focus was the influence of the diameter referring to the load bearing behavior. And the second campaign will start in September where we want to focus on the influence of ins installation of vibro driven and impact driven piles. Additionally, numerical calculations are carried out on the one hand to for the layout of the model piles and secondly to upscale our results to the reference pile. So finally in the last step of the project both the numerical investigations and the large scale tests are used to optimize the reference pile. And which challenges did you have to overcome on the several phases? Well as in every project there are always a lot of challenges which I have to be mastered. One was the scaling of the test specimen. Therefore, we run several numerical and analytical calculations by taking account to model scale laws to obtain a realistic foundation behavior of our specimen. A second one was the whole um, planning and coordination of the test campaign because the aim was to have comparable or even identical test conditions for all three test piles, which meant, for example, comparable time periods between pile installation and test execution. And if I look back, I would say we did a really good job. Didn't we, Anne? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Dürkop, uh, what motivated Rumble to join the projects? How can you benefit from the results? within the Tandem project? 
Um, Rammel is always interested to improve and develop um, design methods. We always try to offer our commercial clients um, the most economical and safe design, and yeah, and to um, yeah do this better and better in every project. Yeah, we are of course um, also internally developing our methods um, even further. The main achievements that we hope to get out of the, out of the tandem project is um, a more realistic um, modeling of the hydrodynamic loads, so that we can reduce the fatigue loads on the foundations, which will yeah help to um, yeah, reduce the pile weights. And on the other hand, yeah, we try to, or would like to have a validated design method for the geotechnical pile design as well, um, which can cover the effects of the large diameter and um, also the installation method. I think that is uh, a unique approach that we um, hope to get out of this project. And Mr. Spill, which advantages do you see uh, for large-scale testing, if you think of uh, industry that is carrying out research and development? Well, um, let me compare the large-scale tests which we perform at the Test Center for Support Structure to those of, for example, small-scale tests and field tests. Well, small-scale tests are less expensive than ours, but on the other side, also less realistic due to scaling problems. Mm. Field tests are even more realistic, but on the other hand, really expensive. The environmental conditions are not controllable, and on top of that, not repeatable. So let me now turn to tests at the Test Center for Support Structures. Here we are able to perform tests in a scale of one to five, and we, we have the opportunity, to, or we have we are able to produce comparable and repeatable environment. From my point of view, I would say it's a good compromise between costs, data reliability and statistical significance. Mr. Dürkop, uh, where do you see further potential for improvements uh, for XL monopiles? I think there are a few fields left where we um, can do better in the future. Um, one example is um, the integrated modeling of the foundation and the um, turbine. Um, currently the, the foundation designer only designs the foundation and the turbine vendor uh, provides the, the tower and the RNA. Um, but if we can align these two processes, um, we, we can, um, I think, benefit because the, the loads can be reproduced much more accurately. And um, if you can design the tower and the foundation in one go, um, that yeah, will lead to a more optimized structure. Um, another field is um, the, the transport installation, where colleagues of mine look into. Um, there's also um, the option of designing transition piece, less foundations, which is another field of interest. Um, but we are also looking at um, different um, other fields, for example, the condition monitoring. We have a team um, working on that, where you measure the performance of the foundation to identify any defaults, but also to um, yeah, measure what um, damage these uh, um, turbines get and this could be then the basis for a potential um, extension of the lifetime which is of course of um, high value for the um, for our clients and one future field potentially is al already now the decommissioning of parts um, this is also where we already now uh, focus on mm -hmm. and mr spill which uh, further topics do you see coming up on the horizon for the test center for support structures yeah, natural follower of course is in the investigation of the cyclic behavior of XL monopiles. But another topic could also be an optimization of alternative installation methods such like vibro driven piles or screwed piles. And of course we also work on different other foundation types like bucket foundations or pie groups. 
Thank you both for sharing your experiences with us. Okay, thank Thanks. you.